Well, you know, obviously I've, I've, I've been a, a, an entrepreneur, either that or I've been in the wrong place at the wrong time to um, <clears throat> acquire the businesses that, that we have. I mean, I we have not started everything anything from scratch it's we've always acquired another business and folded it in into uh into what we have and um knowing i spend a lot of time knowing my competition know what they do know what their strengths are know what their weaknesses are and when opportunities come along for us to expand or we find that, you know, we've maxed out what we do in this area, we need to look at something else, then uh, <clears throat> by knowing my competition, I know, yes, we can go in that area or, you know, they're very strong and we don't need to, we need to go there, we need to, to look somewhere else. The, uh, <clears throat> it's, to me, it's very easy to put, to put deals together or to, find businesses that need a little help or somebody's ready to retire and they're ready to get out of business and they're looking for a way out. Uh, the difficult part is uh, how will that fold into our company? How will we manage that acquisition? What are we going to, are we going to discipline ourselves enough to, to make that part of it and continue to grow it versus just, you know, just buy it and say, here we have it and we hope it works out. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, to me, it's just been a it's just been an acquired um, strength that I've had, but it's just because I've done it so many times, and and I've been fortunate to make a lot of the right decisions and not the wrong decisions. And I'm and and I have a a daughter who currently works for Red Hat in in Charlotte, which is a huge software company that just got bought out by IBM and has a great job and she has a ton of um, I think they're well I don't know what IBM is her company was 9,000 employees but uh, their business style and this uh, work-life balance and all the things that they're into don't equate to the old school me because again I, I'm the guy that um, that felt like and still feels like my my reward is uh, that paycheck every week or one of these days when I retire and I sell this business I cash in and and, and that's going to be my reward I think as a as an entrepreneur and a leader or someone that's in a leadership role it's very hard to say I'm going to start work at 801 and I'm going to leave at 459 and Friday night I'm done and I'm Xing off the business till Monday morning because uh, I think why leaders are successful and that's not to say other people can't be successful but uh, why they're probably more successful is because it's not an eight to five Monday through Friday job. It's constantly looking, uh, as I said, as you say, uh, as I said earlier about my competition, I may take off uh, Saturday afternoon and say, you know what, we're going to go ride around the country and countryside and enjoy the afternoon, eat out. But while I'm riding around, I'm checking on my competition mm -hmm. to see who has what or who has what product there. So I'm um, I'm kind of always working, and I don't know that that would fit the the, the work-life balance scenario. But uh, that's that's what I do, and 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 again, it, it's proven to be proven to be successful. And again, I think uh, when you life goes on 24 hours a day, and business goes on 24 hours a day, and if you're not, you know, somehow thinking about that, you know, seven days a week, then uh, I think that's why people decide in five years that they, they don't like their job anymore because nothing's changed or it's an eight to five and, you know, they didn't put that, put that little extra into it. Again, that's a, that's a white-haired old guy scenario. So.